Possession and worry of health have for the time being gone away when freedom and a degree of wealth have been attained. When all that remains is the challenge of how to be entertained. What do you do for joy? Look and look for another and another non boring toy. Will a lover, one or another, Come to the rescue. Will you go too far and ruin it all? Isn't that always the destiny of the two eager search for lasting joy? If history is any indication, if there is any appreciation of the lessons of so many with plenty, it is the Is not any lasting answer to that question other than possibly the suggestion of somewhere in unknowable eternity. And since that is unknowable, unreportable, unconfirmable, incalculable, and of endless number of proposals, predictions from the ancient to modernity of leaving. Quest for jordanity, of leaving the quest for joy to infinity. Death, dreamless oblivion, looms there when its dark shroud makes its fall to make an eternal joke of us all. Let me therefore make a proposal, a proposition for joy as lasting as any for which there is proof. It is this. A simple, quiet, pleasant, secure roof. A source of non-oppressive provision. A course of numerous kindnesses. Some creative activity. A moderate concession to appetites for sheets on a cozy bed. And a fine, cool pillow on which to lay your head with an amiable companion. Whether a person or a thing is the closest arrangement to reliable joy that life can bring. Thank、you